Gavin Goo here from makingwithmetal.com. Wanted to give you a quick guided tour of some tools that I have been using a lot recently. If you've been watching my gunsmithing content, you've seen these tools in action. What tools are they? It's the new Easy Data Micrometer series from eye gauging. That's right, these tools have a half tenth resolution and an accuracy of a tenth and a half making them very versatile around the shop. And what's more, they're really easy to interface with your tablet, your PC, or your phone. Let's see how they work. So these Easy Data micrometers are available individually or in sets. And what I've got here is the three-piece set, which is item number 35-054-U33. Have a link to the product in the full write-up, which is the first link in the video description. So this one has three micrometers, zero to one, one to two, and two to three. It has the tools that you need to calibrate, none required for the zero to one, because you do that with the anvil closed. It's got the two inch for the two to three, and it's got the one inch for the one to two. It comes with a special tool that helps to open and close the battery door on the back. And speaking of batteries, these tools all use the CR2032 batteries, which are awesome because they give really killer battery life compared to the smaller cells that you'd find in some uh, lower cost tools. And then I also use these same batteries in scopes with illuminated reticles or in red dot sights, that kind of thing. So I've already got these on hand. So calibrating the tool is really easy. You just close the gap on the zero to one completely, and then you hit the power button with the short press and that gets you to zero. And then if you do this in a repeatable fashion, you'll come to the same exact spot. Might take a couple times. There we are, we're at zero again. So it's very important that it's repeatable. This is a very, very precise instrument. All of these have half tenth resolution and tenth and a half accuracy. So the way that you actuate these click Click adjusters is super important when you're measuring parts, when you're calibrating. I usually calibrate them when I turn them on just to make sure that I'm, you know, super accurate with the measurements that I'm taking. It has metric and inch, and you can also switch between absolute, which would be the ab actual measurement, or relative measurement, which you could say take a measurement, set it at zero on one part, and then compare subsequent parts to that particular measurement with a delta of zero or negative or positive. So they've got an insulated frame, which is good, keeps heat from transferring from your hand and altering the measurements based on thermal expansion, that kind of thing. And then you can do kind of a rapid traversal to open and close the measurement range with the knurled knob, which does not have the, the click clutch on it. So that's basically how the tools work. The three-piece set is handy. It comes with this nice case. It comes with the specification and instructions. So let's take a look at taking some quick measurements and then we'll do some data logging too. Okay, so to demonstrate how this unit works, I've got it mounted in a stand here and that's gonna help me show you kind of what's going on. I've got four quarter inch rods. These are precision rods and we're gonna go ahead and take measurements of all four rods two different ways. First we'll do absolute measurements that are the actual diameter and then we'll do relative measurements which will show us the difference between these rods in terms of diameter. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is check our zero. I'm gonna click that against the instrument closed and that gives us all zeros, so that's good. We can open this up with the knurled knob to more quickly change our adjustment range here. And then I'm gonna hold it perfectly perpendicular while closing the dial and let it click. 249.5, second rod, 249.45, 249.5, as you can see these are pretty good quality, pretty good precision here, 249.4, okay? Now what we can do is we can take the first rod if we want to use this as the reference Click against the rod with the adjustment wheel and then just hit the power button to zero it. Now when we take our successive measurements, we're taking relative measurements. So minus a tenth, one tenth plus, and then for the fourth rod, 
we're at minus a tenth. So we can see we're varying by you know, about plus or minus a tenth or so across these rods, which is great. Now, what if we wanted to log the data to our tablet or our phone or our PC so that we can analyze the data? Well, that's easy. I'll show you that next. Okay, for this data logging scenario, I've got a Samsung Galaxy Tab A. I've got Excel running here, and we've just got a cell highlighted. I've got the iGaging Smart Bluetooth dongle, which is 35-BT-28. This is going to convert any iGaging instrument that has the appropriate data output port into a Bluetooth connected device that pairs as a keyboard. So you don't have to have special apps. It's going to type it in. It's going to hit enter, which for a spreadsheet program like Excel is going to be awesome. So I just plug this guy in. You got to look at the conductors and make sure they're uh, pointed the correct direction. We're going to turn on the device here and then we're going to take one of our measurements, hit the data button, and then it's going to input that measurement into the spreadsheet. Hit data again. There it goes. Let me show you up close. Take a couple more measurements here. Here we go, it's just that easy. So if you're looking for an economical precision measurement solution, give these easy data micrometers a look. They cover a wide range of measurements. They've got the large, easy to read display and they're really easy to interface with your tablet, your phone and or your PC. And of course, I've got a full write up on makingwithmetal.com. Check out that in the video description. I hope this video was useful. If it was, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to GavinTube and turn on notifications to make sure you're getting all of this awesome metalworking, gunsmithing, reloading and shooting content. Until next time, happy metalworking, happy reloading, and happy shooting.